Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In a shocking turn of events, a key character from Emmerdale's history will be killed off, giving viewers a major surprise. Many will recall Emily Head's hat-wearing, helicopter-dwelling, accident-prone Rebecca White's dramatic 2016 arrival. Rebecca was involved in a number of major storylines as a member of the troublesome White clan, who are now all but their serial killer Lachlan dead. These included a contentious arc in which she gave birth to Robert Sugden's baby, being held captive by her insane nephew, and coping with the devastating aftermath of a brain injury sustained in a crash that killed Chrissy and Lawrence. In 2018, she left the program after falling in love with Ross Barton and leaving to start a new life with young Seb after almost six years away, Michael Parr recently confirmed that he would be returning to play Ross. In an interview with Metro, he said that Ross returns with a lot of baggage, which is why he has thrown himself into self-destructive boxing matches, where he faces Billy Fletcher. The well-known actor informed me, he has suffered a lot of trauma because of his rough start in life, being on the run, his relationship with his dad, his brother, his mom, and dad, and his girlfriend dying. It's the same guy, but he's a little more mature and has experienced a lot of things. This tragedy is only the beginning, considering the length of time he and Rebecca were abroad. Mike acknowledged that there is still a great deal to learn and that we won't know everything at once. The writers have five years of story time to come up with, he exclaimed. What drama did he bring back with him, where was he, was he a decent lad, and did he make enemies? Here, I'm going to take a chance and suppose that he has. We talked about how glad and fortunate he feels to be returning home now that he is firmly back in the show and Ross is in the middle of all sorts of craziness. The North is the best place to be, Mike exclaimed, adding that the financial security of an ongoing role is also a key factor. He described Ross as the character he most enjoys playing and how busy Emmerdale allows him to be. Metro readers were overwhelmingly thrilled to learn of his return, and Mike was blown away by the enthusiasm of his fans. He told me that it came with more responsibility. He grinned and said, It's really nice to know that many people care and that many people appreciated what I did. I'm attempting to reassess my relationship with social media because it can be highly addictive and I feel like I'm constantly holding my phone. Even though I'm making every effort to avoid it, I can't help but be overwhelmed by the response when the post regarding Ross' return went up. I will always be grateful for everyone's support. However, it also puts a lot of pressure on me because I feel like I can't disappoint anyone. It also helps me step up my game. Mike will undoubtedly have every opportunity to remind us why it's so beneficial to have the crazy character back where he belongs, especially considering how busy Ross will be in the upcoming months. Emily Head, star of Emmerdale, took on the role of Rebecca White in 2016 and continued to do so until leaving in 2018. Over the course of the two years, she finds herself at the center of many compelling plots, such as having an affair with her sister's partner, suffering a brain injury following a car accident caused by her killer nephew Lachlan White, Thomas Atkinson, which claimed the lives of her father Lawrence White and half-sister Chrissy White, and spending months in captivity with her lover Ross and her son Seb. Rebecca left the hamlet for Liverpool in November 2018 in an attempt to move on from the painful memories. However, it was recently disclosed that Rebecca had tragically died off-screen undergoing surgery. Away from the village, Emily, the daughter of a well-known actor, lives with her lover Jared and gained notoriety as Carly D'Amato on Channel 4's The Inbetweeners. Emily and her sister, Daisy, are the daughters of Anthony Head, an actor who first gained notoriety through the Gold Blend Coffee advertisements before becoming a global celebrity for his portrayal of Rupert Giles in the popular Buffy the Vampire Slayer film. I never really realized that my dad was or wasn't famous because I'd grown up watching him on TV, Emily previously stated. Obviously, he had always been recognizable because the Nescafe Gold Blend coffee advertisements were well-known among my parents' generation, she added. Then Buffy elevated his level of recognizability, but that happened in America before it came to England. Even though Emily's father was worried that his daughter could follow in his footsteps, he didn't need to be because Emily has now established a fruitful profession. Prior to her role in Emmerdale, Emily played Carly in The Inbetweeners from 2008 to 2010 and the 2011 sequel, The Inbetweeners Movie. 
she portrayed Liz Waits in a single episode of the BBC medical serial opera Doctors in 2011 and an evil mastermind involved in a bank scheme in MI High. She would play the title character's daughter in the Bravo drama Rita, it was reported in 2013. At Lester's Curve, she performed as Angela Ange in an in-the-round production of Abigail's Party in 2014. Alongside Taj Atwal, Kim Marsh, Gaynor Fay, and Joe Sugg, she most recently portrayed Colette Andrews in the fourth season of the BBC drama The Syndicate in 2021. It was in 2022 when Emily talked about going back to Emmerdale. At the time, she told The Express, I felt ready to move on when I did because I had such a great time there and building the character. I think it's great that Rebecca, Ross, and the infant Seb are living their best lives in Liverpool. Leaving them there and enjoying a great time together is a good idea. She might have a specific reason for returning to the town, and if it aligned with my plans for that year, then okay, why not? Following viewers' hopes that she might return to the village for Zach Dingle's, Steve Hallowell, heartbreaking farewell, Emmerdale has revealed Debbie Dingle's situation. As they get ready to say goodbye to their beloved Zach, who died suddenly up in Scotland, the renowned Dingle clan is in pieces, before returning to his village, Kane Dingle, Jeff Hordley, stopped by to visit his father Zach and his daughter Debbie, Charlie Webb. Shortly after his return, his other half, Moira, Natalie Robb, received a heartbreaking call from Debbie informing him that Zach had passed away in tragic circumstances. It was Kane's responsibility to inform the family of the elderly man's passing. The terrible news of Grandad's death was disseminated by Debbie, so Emmerdale viewers hoped she would attend Zach's last farewell. But Moira put an end to those rumors in the episode that aired on Wednesday, October 16, which was available early on ITVX but also aired at the regular time slot on ITV1 at 7.30 p.m. Moira gave an update on her stepdaughter. Kane and Sam Dingle, James Hooten, traveled to Scotland to get Zach's remains in order to honor his final wishes and return to the hamlet so that he might be buried alongside his family. Debbie not coming back for the funeral, asked Maddie Barton, Ash Pomiciano, who was questioning his mother, according to Leeds Live. Moira disclosed, she has informed Kane that she is unable to deal with it. When Zach lived there, she became very close to him, and she wishes to honor him in her own unique way. Moira also mentioned the effect on Kane, it has had a significant impact on her. As if he doesn't have enough on his plate, Kane must now straighten everything out. Debbie, who initially appeared on our screens on Christmas Eve in 2002, has had a lengthy tenure. However, Charlie Webb briefly returned as Debbie after taking a leave of absence in 2019, making a guest appearance from late 2020 to early 2021. In an earth-shaking twist, Emmerdale fans are bracing themselves for the loss of a beloved character as the show teases a surprise death. After a six-year absence, Ross Barton's return has stirred up memories of his whirlwind romance with Rebecca White. Played by Emily Head, Rebecca has a troubled history that involves dramatic entrances, helicopter accidents, and tragedy with the infamous White clan. But now, whispers of death and hidden secrets mean Emmerdale could be gearing up for its most emotional storyline yet. The Return of Ross Barton and Rebecca White's Ominous Past when Rebecca White arrived in Emmerdale in 2016, she brought chaos, mystery, and a distinct flair, and a penchant for hats. Her character was a key player in some of the show's most shocking storylines, from her tumultuous family history with the White clan to giving birth to Robert Sugden's son and surviving a tragic accident that left her with a traumatic brain injury. Her relationship with Ross Barton was a source of redemption for them both. Together, they escaped to Liverpool, leaving behind their dark histories in search of a fresh start. But the drama is far from over. With Michael Parr back as Ross Barton, viewers are eager to find out if Rebecca's return could be the tragic twist everyone is speculating about. Michael Parr teases Ross's dark history. Michael Parr, who's taken up the Ross mantle once more, recently opened up about his character's complicated past and hinted at the shadowy baggage he's brought back to the Dales. Ross is the same character, but he's changed in many ways, he explained. He's been through trauma, dealing with the death of his brother, his rough start in life, and even more recent hardships while he was away. Parr's character now finds himself embroiled in gritty underground boxing matches, where he faces off against Billy Fletcher, hinting that there's more to Ross's comeback than meets the eye. According to Parr, the writers have cleverly woven five years of untold stories into Ross's return arc, making him a powder keg of unresolved drama. 
This backdrop has left fans wondering if Ross's return could spell danger for Rebecca or if there's a darker reason he's come home. Where was he? Did he make enemies? Parr teased, suggesting that not all of Ross's past remains in the past. Speculation swirls, could Rebecca be in danger? With Ross in the middle of new dramas and Rebecca's tragic history with the White family hanging over them, speculation has run wild on social media. Fans are asking, could Rebecca be the character whose life is cut short in a shocking twist? As the last surviving White apart from her nephew Lachlan, Rebecca's return would be a poignant nod to Emmerdale's rich and troubled history. Her connection to Ross and their shared son, Seb, could create a narrative rich with emotional depth, while the looming death could be the ultimate consequence of unresolved trauma. If the death twist points to Rebecca, it would resonate with viewers who have followed her journey from the highs of love to the lows of betrayal and tragedy. Ross and Rebecca had a love that was so real, one fan posted online. If she dies, it's going to break Ross completely. Fan reactions and Michael Parr's emotional return to Emmerdale. Fans have been buzzing about Ross's return since it was first announced. Michael Parr's candid comments reveal just how much the fan support means to him. The response to Ross's return has been overwhelming, he admitted. It's lovely to know people care, but it also adds pressure to deliver. This heartfelt sentiment has only endeared Parr to fans more, making his character's comeback all the more meaningful. Despite his excitement, Parr has felt the weight of fan expectations. I'm trying to balance my life with social media because it's easy to get consumed, he said, acknowledging the double-edged sword of fame in today's digital age. Fans have shown nothing but support, with many rooting for Ross to find redemption and closure even as he faces painful memories and possible heartbreak. What lies ahead for Ross and Emmerdale's beloved characters? Emmerdale's writers have crafted an emotional roller coaster that promises intense scenes and gut-wrenching choices. With Ross back in the fold and tensions at an all-time high, this storyline is set to bring old wounds to the surface, forcing characters like Charity, Rebecca, and Ross to confront their pasts. Could Ross's unresolved pain and trauma spell disaster for those closest to him, or will his love for his son Moses and bond with Rebecca pull him back from the brink? The only certainty is that this storyline will shake Emmerdale to its core. Whether it's Rebecca who pays the ultimate price or another beloved character, Emmerdale's latest plot promises to be a heart-wrenching saga that fans won't soon forget. As Ross and Rebecca's love story is revisited, the village will once again witness the devastating impact of the White family's cursed legacy. A star returns to the spotlight. Emmerdale fans were heartbroken with the recent revelation of Rebecca White's tragic off-screen death, which has left a lasting impact on viewers. Emily Head, who brought the complex character of Rebecca White to life from 2016 to 2018, was at the center of some of the soap's most gripping storylines during her time on the show. From love affairs and life-threatening injuries to hostage situations, Emily's portrayal captivated audiences and brought unforgettable drama to Emmerdale. But beyond the fictional village of Emmerdale, Emily Head has built an impressive acting career, shaped by her family's legacy and her own drive. Known initially for her role as Carly D'Amato in Channel 4's hit series The Inbetweeners, Emily's journey from a breakout teenage role to an acclaimed soap opera star is nothing short of fascinating. In this article, we'll take a deep dive into Emily Head's career, her experiences on Emmerdale, her famous family, and what she's been up to since departing the soap. Early fame and a famous family, Emily's start in television. Born into a family steeped in acting, Emily Head was practically destined for the screen. Her father, Anthony Head, rose to fame with the iconic Nescafe Gold Blend coffee adverts, and later achieved international recognition as Rupert Giles in the cult hit Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Growing up in a family immersed in the world of acting, Emily developed a love for the craft early on. In fact, she once said, because I'd grown up watching my dad on TV, it never really occurred to me that he was or wasn't famous. Despite his fame, Anthony Head was cautious about his daughter following in his footsteps, wanting her to be sure of her passion. Emily's first major role came in 2008 when she was cast as Carly D'Amato in The Inbetweeners. Her character, the object of Simon Cooper's unrequited affections, quickly became a fan favorite and remains one of her most recognized roles to date. The role also opened doors for Emily, who would go on to appear in The Inbetweeners movie in 2011. The move to Emmerdale and the creation of Rebecca White. 
In 2016, Emily Head took on a challenging new role that would mark a significant turning point in her career, Rebecca White on Emmerdale. Introduced as a member of the White family, Rebecca entered the village with a flair that quickly established her as a key figure. Her initial storylines were filled with romance, tension, and emotional upheaval. One of her first major plot points involved an affair with her sister Chrissy's partner, Robert Sugden, adding a layer of familial drama to her character. Rebecca's journey took a dark turn when she was involved in a near-fatal car crash caused by her nephew, Lachlan White. The accident claimed the lives of her father, Lawrence, and her half-sister, Chrissy. This horrific incident left Rebecca with a traumatic brain injury, which became a central part of her storyline and allowed Emily to showcase her dramatic range. The storyline garnered praise from fans and critics alike, with Emily's performance being highlighted for its depth and realism. After surviving the crash, Rebecca found herself caught in a harrowing situation when she was held hostage by Lachlan, who continued his murderous spree. Emily's portrayal of Rebecca's resilience and trauma during this period was both powerful and heartbreaking, solidifying her as a standout talent on the show. Rebecca's departure from Emmerdale and Emily's reflections on the role In November 2018, Rebecca left the village with Ross Barton, played by Michael Parr, and her son, Seb, to start fresh in Liverpool. This exit marked the end of Emily's time on Emmerdale, and while fans were saddened by her departure, many felt that it was a fitting close to a turbulent chapter in Rebecca's life. Reflecting on her time in Emmerdale, Emily has shared her appreciation for the experience. In a 2022 interview with Express, she said, I had such a great time there and building the character. I felt ready to move on when I did, but I like the idea of Rebecca living her best life in Liverpool with Ross and the baby Seb. Emily also hinted at the possibility of returning to the show if the timing and storyline were right, saying, if there was ever a particular reason why she needed to come back to the village, and if it fitted in with what I wanted to do that year, then sure, why not? Beyond Emmerdale, Emily Head's Career Highlights After departing from Emmerdale, Emily continued to build her career with a range of roles that showcased her versatility as an actress. In 2021, she joined the cast of the BBC drama The Syndicate, playing Colette Andrews alongside stars like Taj Atwal, Kim Marsh, and Gaynor Faye. The show received positive reviews, and Emily's performance added yet another layer to her evolving resume. Emily's past credits also include appearances on MI High, where she played an evil mastermind involved in a bank scam, and the medical soap opera Doctors. She has also taken on roles in theater, including playing Angela Ange in an in-the-round production of Abigail's Party at Lester's Curve Theater. This variety of roles highlights her versatility and commitment to pushing her craft in new directions. Emily's life off-screen, her family, love life, and inspirations. Outside of her career, Emily Head lives a quiet life with her boyfriend, Jared, and remains close to her family, including her sister Daisy, who is also an actress. Emily often speaks fondly of her father, Anthony Head, and the influence he's had on her career. Growing up watching him on television and experiencing life in an acting family provided her with unique insights into the industry. Emily has also shared her father's concerns about her pursuing an acting career, knowing firsthand the pressures and challenges that come with it. But those concerns were unfounded, as Emily has proven time and again that she has the talent and resilience to carve her own path in the industry. Now, she's not only known for her work in The Inbetweeners and Emmerdale but also as an actress in her own right, capable of bringing depth and nuance to her roles. The possibility of returning to Emmerdale, could we see Rebecca White again? The revelation of Rebecca's off-screen death came as a shock to Emmerdale fans, who had always imagined her living a peaceful life with Ross and Seb. But the world of soap operas is full of twists and surprises, and it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility that Rebecca's storyline could see a revival in some way. Emily herself has expressed openness to returning, given the right circumstances. If there was ever a particular reason why she needed to come back to the village, she said, and if it fitted in with what I wanted to do that year, then sure, why not? Emily Head's legacy on Emmerdale and her impact on soap opera drama Emily's time on Emmerdale may have spanned only two years, but her impact on the show is still felt today. Rebecca White remains a character that fans remember for her strength, vulnerability, and resilience. Emily's portrayal brought authenticity and depth to the role, making Rebecca one of the most beloved characters in recent Emmerdale history. 
Her departure left a void, but her legacy endures in the form of fans' continued interest in her character and storyline. For many, Emily's portrayal of Rebecca White set a new standard for what soap opera drama could achieve, blending intense drama with genuine emotional resonance. Conclusion Emily Head's journey from soap star to respected actress. From her early days as Carly D'Amato in The Inbetweeners to her memorable portrayal of Rebecca White in Emmerdale, Emily Head's career is a testament to her range and dedication as an actress. Her roles have spanned comedy, drama, and thriller, each adding a new layer to her evolving resume. As she continues to explore new opportunities, fans of Emily and Emmerdale alike hold on to the hope that we might one day see her return to the village that brought her character to life. Whether on the screen, stage, or in a new venture entirely, Emily Head has established herself as an actress to watch, and her journey is far from over.